So we farm in two locations in San Benito County. We do about 40 or 50 different types of vegetables throughout the year, and we have some tree fruit. We got interested in putting some hedgerows in, and the idea was that you could have a year-round habitat, flowering habitat with native species that would be a home for beneficial insects year-round. Our experiment involved spraying hedgerow plants with a fluorescent paint that coats the plants and insects pick up little fluorescent markers on their legs or on their bristles or hairs. We chose sites based on them being organically managed, having a similar crop matrix. We ended up having four different locations with one at Phil Foster's ranches. So we put sticky traps out uh, very close to the hedgerow at what we considered zero meters into the field to 25 and to 100 meters. Yeah, the hedgerows that we planted on our farm, they support a number of benefits. These hedgerows have a very deep root system. They're photosynthesizing, they're moving carbon deeper into the soils. We get a windbreak benefit from them. They uh, support a lot of pollinating insects. They do support building a native population of beneficial insects, which in the long run became a very important tool for pest control on our farms. Because we live on the farm as well, it's very nice to maintain this pristine environment that attracts a lot of wildlife. We wanted to increase beneficial birds to help us with pest control, natural pest control. We have eight bird boxes and we have quite a large population of these um, swallows and bluebirds that visit the farm. Walking along this hedgerow, I see a lot of red-tailed hawks in the tall trees in the distance there. There are owls there sometimes, so I've seen owls come flying out of there. We found smaller bodied insects being more common um, on our sticky traps that were zero to 25 meters from the field margin versus the larger bodied insects we would find at 100 meters. That's as far as we put our sticky traps, right? So it's very possible they would move even farther. A larger bodied insect can travel more, can fly greater distances because of their muscles. Ichneumonid wasps you could find farther on, and braconid wasps. Lace wings were another one. We also found that there are more marked individuals closer to the hedgerow, which makes some sense because it's a habitat for them, so there's a sort of spillover that would happen. But I think then having more habitat throughout the landscape helps to kind of encourage that movement from one habitat fragment, the hedgerow, uh, across the field, stopping over in the crop field and moving on to another place where they find refuge. What we do extensively in our vegetable crops, we will put insectary habitat mixed in. So we will use alyssum, cilantro, white dill. Those are species we would plant with our cash crops. Um, so the hedgerows are allowing a native population to build up and then they can move to areas in the farm where we have uh, beneficial flower habitat. Certainly there could be some pest insects in the hedgerow too. You know, that's important because beneficial insects, they need a food source. We looked at the plants that were commonly used in hedgerow design. And yarrow was attractive to hymenopteran um, predators. So minute pirate bug, big eyed bugs, Coffee berry was attractive to brown lace wings. I remember being excited seeing these lace wings with their heads inside the flowers of coffee berry, just drinking up the nectar. Perennial buckwheat, Areogonum giganteum. That one was also good for my new pirate bugs. Baccarus pilularis or coyote brush. It doesn't have a really showy flower, um, but we found really fascinatingly a, a high amount of parasitic wasps. So we went into those studies thinking it's all about the bloom time and the flowering. And then here we find a whole bunch of this really important group of natural enemies that are present on the Baccarus plant when it's not flowering. Maybe they're using alternate prey that are there. 
hedgerows as perennial habitat may support greater numbers of insect natural enemies in comparison to annual plants because they're continually growing. And, and just comparing numbers, I found in my hedgerow samples much higher numbers of insect natural enemies versus other studies on alyssum. Overall, we found really positive signs that hedgerows support natural enemies, they move into adjacent fields, and we have a diversity of type of, of natural enemies. That's the whole idea is to, to use the resident natural enemies that are there to help keep pest populations at levels that are manageable. If your interest is in building your native beneficial insect population, supplying habitat for pollinators, then uh, hedgerows can be a very nice component we feel that our farm is a whole farm system and we want to have uh, areas of diversity. We've left some areas that aren't gonna produce maybe cash crops, but they're gonna supply a lot of benefit to the farm in a number of other ways. People would come over and ask me all the time what I was doing, what I was finding, and um, I always enjoyed those conversations. Ecology is about relationships. So it's relationships between different species and their environment. And it's also how people relate to these things like hedgerows and to the insects and to their crop fields. So I had a ball. <laughs> I loved it. <laughs>